Howdy everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you back to episode 63 of The Wind Waker. Where we've left Medley and Link standing here awkwardly for nearly a year, I think, since the last episode. So, uh, hopefully they haven't been too bored in here, at least they, they seem to be quite healthy and fit, just like we left them. And, uh, you know what, I actually, amazingly, I remembered that I forgot something out here. Because uh, before we head into this temple here and get things right on, because that is the next place that we want to go, there's actually something on this island I don't think I ever got. And if you uh, use one of the few uses of the Hyoi pair in the game here to get a seagull. And you can actually see this if you use the telescope, but I opted not to. There's also, like, a, you can see out here, a bunch of supplies and stuff. Like, what's this, all magic and hearts and mad... And <laughs> I was looking more for rupees, because I think I'm pretty much full on everything else. But way, way at the top here, that's right, there's a yellow rupee! <laughs> oh man, wasn't that totally worth it? Probably a here cost more than 10 rupees, but there's the actual prize, a heart, heart piece, and uh, you don't have to like go back down to Link or anything, you just press R, and there you go. Another heart piece. I've been away from this game for so long now that I'm going to be kind of amazed if I can even remember which heart pieces I have and have not gotten. But, uh, either way, we're gonna get them all no matter what, come hell or high water. By hook or by crook, as they say. I don't know who says that, maybe my grandparents, but... Anyway, so, uh, to actually get into this temple... Oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> I might not be too used to the controls, because, uh, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls, and that has a lot of different control schemes. But anyways, so, let's play our little song for Medley here. Not my favorite song in the game, but definitely a beautiful one. Gotta love it. And that is how we finally, finally gain access to the Earth Temple. Now, I've had a few, actually, I think two failed recordings of this temple. So, but those were a long time ago, and um, so this is still going to be pretty hazy in my memory. But, you ready, Medley? <laughs> oh gosh, she's more ready than Link, holy cow! <laughs> she just jumped. Oh man, imagine if Link had just turned tail and run then. She would just stranded at the bottom of the earth, nothing to do for the rest of her life. That would be very morbid, I don't even know why I brought that up. So, insert, here's the gimmick of the temple, basically. It's, a, it's entirely an escort mission. Not really, though. It's not like a... Because I know when a, when a lot of people hear escort mission, they generally don't think good thoughts. But here you don't actually have to escort Medley, like, everywhere. But you do need to use her for certain things in the temple, and they're actually pretty creative about it. Okay, um... I'm actually gonna leave Medley behind. Stay back, honey. I got this. I got these moblins. Oops. See, that's what I mean. Normally that button that I press, that would, uh... <laughs> God, I missed this game. That would, that would have made me lock on in Dark Souls, so that's, that's what I'm talking about, not being used to controls. I'm sure I'll get more back in, more into it again. Oh gosh. Come on. Come on, buddy, I want to parry you. Oh, just, just get out of here. <laughs> that really is the Dark Souls mindset. I'm thinking way too hard about the combat, combat in this game. It's much simpler than I'm, <laughs> than I'm uh, giving it credit for, I think. You don't have to really clear these guys out. Medley can't actually die in this temple. She doesn't have any, like, health bar, I don't think. But, dude, you okay? <laughs> Alright. Can't block me no more, not without your big stick. Me speak soft. Big stick! Okay, what are you looking up at, Link? Is there... Uh, oh, gosh. Wow. That's a, that's a beautiful pillar, Link. You can look up at all you want, I guess. Weird. Anyway, yeah, so, Medley has a fair few amount of uses. Actually, whoa, well, okay, I guess maybe she'll tell him about us right now. <laughs> Link looks really mad that she's trying to explain this to him. She used a Wind Waker to guide her. That's actually probably the most interesting part about this whole thing here, 
is that first, so you saw earlier in the first room of the temple, you can use medley like this and fly, but I don't think, well maybe this will make it all the way over, yeah, just barely make it, and then you put her down, don't want to throw her, if you do throw her, she will fly a little bit, but she won't fly nearly as far as that, like how she flew just then. So that's one switch, but you can see what Link was actually really looking up at was another switch on the other pillar over there, so, oh, th I was taking too long at solving this puzzle, and now, now I have to pay the price. Okay, okay, I got it, man. You just said this, girl! Come on, give me some credit for listening. So we haven't used this song in forever, but... Come in, Melody Time! I really do like how they incorporate this, too. Because now you actually get to play as Medley! Oh my gosh, it's so cool! And now let's fly, let's fly away! Yeah, so in order to stay in the air, like she said, you just need to tap A, and there you go. Just like that. So if Medley wasn't with this temple, we would be pretty well screwed, wouldn't we? Alright. And that is just... You know, despite how much I really like this this gimmick with this temple, this whole thing with Medley, it's really not one of my favorite temples. I don't know, there's something about the atmosphere. Normally I like this dark, dank kind of atmosphere. But for some reason, this one just doesn't really do it for me. And I'm not sure I'm not sure why. I can't point I can't point to anything specific in the temple as to why I just don't have a I don't have a grand old time in this temple. But um it's just something weird about it. Oh gosh, I'm seat these these controls, man. I'll get back into it in a second. Or not in a second, but maybe a little bit more than that. Alright, uh oh. Alright, these black shoes might serve a bit of a problem. So you can see, you can't actually hurt these guys. You can make them do a really cool effect, though, if you do. Oh, gosh. Even if you parry. Oh, no, that don't work. So what's their weakness, you might ask? Well, you might notice this uh, light beam here. I mean, it's kind of hard not to notice it. It's kind of just... It's the elephant in the room, as they say. And that is the cockatrice effect. Making them turn to stone, and then once they're as once they're as stone like this, you can actually use your skull hammer or bombs or any number of things. I think I think you can actually just pick them up and throw them. But how can you how can you resist smashing them in the face with a giant hammer? Really? <laughs> it's just, look at how big the hammer is. You can't you can't you can't tell me that you don't have fun with this hammer. It's just not possible. All right, uh, how do I want to? deal with this. There's always so many different ways to deal with, to deal with these wooden things. You can bomb them, you can use fire arrows like I am wont to do. Yay. And actually, with the fire arrows, I suppose that's a good thing I brought them out. You can actually burn these things too. Which is pretty cool. I think there's like just some supplies and stuff behind some, behind some of these. Nothing major. You can pick them up with the boomerang if you want to. Oh! Everyone knows that we want all of those. Most valuable items in the game, eh? Yeah, so nothing major. But it's good to keep that in mind, that we can burn those curtains. Because that might just come in handy later. Alright, and you can also see here, what's, I guess, supposed to be an invisible chest, but not not really. Whoa, I didn't realize you could actually walk through that. That's kind of interesting. But, again, that's something, that's going to be another one of the recurring themes of this temple, is that you can shine lights on things to have an effect on them, and this, I guess it's, I guess the, uh, it's like on Windfall Island, about ha when you could uh, use the lighthouse to make that one chest appear. Pretty sure we did that anyway. Gotta love this camera angle, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually, uh, you would see this if you like carry Medley into the light as Link, that you heard the, her little instrument here actually reflects light. And you can do use that to good effect. Ta-da! But wait, there's more, because if you if you hurry now, you can actually use it on these statues, too. Make them crumble into dust. <laughs> Physics only knows how that works. I don't know. These photons are too much for me! Oh! Anyway. Alright, I don't think this chest is anything of great importance, but... Probably just like the dungeon map, maybe? It looks like a dungeon mappy chest. Maybe it's a treasure chart and I'm just sh talking up my ass, though, so... Oh, no. There we go. Alright, yes. 
Probably you can skip this text. There we go. Alright, and let's just desecrate a skull just for the hell of it. Oh, for arrows, I guess. Not too shabby. Alright, and if memory serves, this next room is actually kind of the hub of the temple, if you want to call it that. Well, the hub of the first part of the temple, I would say. Because the simple temple, even it's not really technically split into two different segments, but it feels like it is. You'll see what I mean later on. Alright. So, Madeline, we need you again, hon. This can get a bit annoying, so I might cut out some of these uh, instances of the command melody just to save time, because it does... It can get a little bit grating to have to do that constantly. There we go. Oh gosh, I'm not used to this camera being inverted for some reason. Even though it's always been inverted. <laughs> oh well. Again, the Dark Souls effect. Oh, and this blue smoke. I don't know if we ever showed this off earlier in the game, because uh, I know there's blue bubbles that do the same thing to you. But when you have that, you cannot use any items. Not your sword, not your giant hammer, not your bow, not your joy pendants, nothing. Nip, nada, diddly squat. Uh-oh. What is... Oh, dude. Oh, sorry, Medley! No! I... <laughs> Oops! Oh, God, I feel like such an asshole now. <laughs> Medley, you're not a weapon, I promise. Uh, how did... Wow. I'm kind of stunned that that worked. The only effective weapon I can think of... <laughs> I can think of two things to use against these fire bubbles. Medley and fire arrows. Those are the only possible two things that could work. That's it. And amazingly, one of them actually did work. Alright. You know, I've always wondered something. If you could actually pull these giant blocks here without the power gauntlets because you can't you can't actually get into this temple and access these blocks without the power gauntlets but um it'd be interesting to know I don't know if anyone's ever tested that okay so I guess this is because this is the first part that you actually need to use a uh, I think because I think that chest that's we need to activate actually has a key in it or something so that's why she tells you that here even if you've figured it out on your own already, which you may well have, or may not have, I'm pretty sure I didn't figure it out on my own as a kid. In fact, if I remember right, that first room that we actually used this in, I think I actually left Medley in, like, on my first playthrough, I mean. I left Medley in the room before that one, and then I thought it was just totally screwed or something, because I'm like, Medley, I need you, I don't know what to do, but... No, you actually, you, you can solve that room without Medley. Because what I thought was that I needed to shine the light Oh, hello. Um. Uh, oh, no, no, hey, get off her! Dude, oh god, that actually scared me a little bit. Alright. Probably. Oh, gosh, those might be my favorite enemies in the game, honestly, the Floor Masters. Just because of how cool they look, honestly. Can I actually do anything with this? I don't think I can do anything with this just yet. If I, if I remember, I feel like you have to come back here. Yeah, because. See, we need medley in order to shine light on these walls, which would, again, disintegrate them, but... Don't have that power just yet. Because it's not like we can make... Where, where'd she go? Medley! <laughs> I was talking earlier about how I, I could have abandoned you and left you to the temple on your own, but... Don't do that same to me, please! No, she just wants to hang by the door because it's probably the safest spot. Though, theoretically, she had to run past this guy in order to get to the door, so I don't know. Got some balls on you, Medley. I don't, I don't mean that as an insult, I promise. Those guys are called Floor Masters, by the way, and you'll learn to you'll learn to fear them. Probably one of the scariest enemies in the game, to be honest. Alright, oh, hello. <laughs> You're not scary, though. Uh, dude, just get out. Just smash them into goo. That's one of my more favorite ways to actually handle these guys. Also because it stuns all the other trees that are nearby. Not even nearby, it looks like. They're, just, they're not even close. Anyway. So, uh... I think... Can I actually... No, because you know what you need to do? These two switches. It, you might be thinking, oh, I need to use Link and Medley again to hold them down. But no, because you actually need to hold them down and get you and Medley up. It's... I don't know, it's kind of... Well, actually... I never thought about that. Let me try something, because normally what I'd do is I'd use... 
well, first. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, let me just get around you really quick. Is I'd burn this curtain, not with ice arrows. I'd burn this curtain like that, because you can see the light streaming through it. Just like that. Then you get these guys in the light. And you could use them to hold the switches down. But I want to try something else that, I've, that I like just thought of just... Oh my god, look at all the chew jelly. But I just thought of this just now, that, that maybe this could work too. Because there's... I always have the... I'm always scared that... It, I'm always scared that if I... Um, that they're going to de-solidify before I can actually use these switches to good effect. But what if I do this? I step on one... Seen here and only here. Brand new solutions to Zelda puzzles. You've never seen anything like this, folks. Watch as Medley land on a switch. And wait. No, this isn't going to work. What was I thinking? Because <laughs> I, what I was thinking is that once... Oh, well, okay, they respawn anyway, so... There we go. Hey, uh, put, put that away. What I was thinking was that I could do that and then... Uh, Link could run up the stairs that, that that activated, and then Medley could fly up because she doesn't actually need the stairs. But no, that that would not work because obviously they need both switch. Like I said, both switches need to be pressed down. It they need to be pressed down. Thank you. All right, Medley, you just stand there looking pretty. Yay. Mm, oh, what is what is even the point of this? open the door. <laughs> Not sure what the point of that puzzle was exactly, but... Alright. Let's get Medley up here, too. I suppose I could have just carried her up, but... She's got wings! She can fly! <laughs> and I'm no one's chariot. Oh, gosh. And, uh, note of, note of caution... If you get hit as Medley, like while you're controlling her like that, if you get hit by an enemy, you will get immediately knocked out of her point of view and back into Link, so be wary of that. 